Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about not the average gangster profile you see on the channel. Rafael Loera Gambo, known on the streets of Compton as Crook, is from the Compton Vario Tortilla Flats gang. In the 1990s, a Fox 11 documentary by Chris Blatchford covered three Tortilla Flats gang members, Chucky, Midget, and Woody. In that documentary, Crook is seen explaining how he's happy to have Chucky in Tortilla Flats, that the Tortilla Flats is Chucky's home, after Chucky had run away from his own home, and that he too, Crook, joined the gang when he was young. As a decade had gone by in June 2003, Crook had been charged in connection with the murder of two gang members, but the charge was dismissed when a witness could not be located to testify against him. Crook would then be caught up in a gang-related operation involving a drug conspiracy. Tortilla Flats are known to have members in the state of Oklahoma. During the early to mid-2000s, Crook had been taking part in distributing more than 500 grams of meth and cocaine imported from California. This all started when Dennis Emerson Gonzalez, known as Boxer, a member of Tortilla Flats, moved to Oklahoma City in 2002. Dennis Gonzalez began to start associating with a local Hispanic gang called the Southside Locos. Dennis Gonzalez enlisted Crook and other Tortilla Flats gang members to bring multi-pound quantities of meth and cocaine from California. Proceeds from the sale of those drugs were sent back to California via Western Union. Crook and two other gang lieutenants eventually took over the operation when Gonzalez moved to Florida in the spring of 2003. The operation netted $1.6 million in fewer than 18 months. When Crook was awaiting trial, he was stabbed by a co-defendant placed in the same jail cell he was in. Cooperating defendants, witnesses, and confidential informants all provided information that led to surveillance, arrests, search warrants, and the seizure of significant quantities of crystal meth and cocaine. Investigators were able to document the importation of additional quantities of crystal meth and cocaine. Investigators were able to document the importation of additional quantities of crystal meth and cocaine into Oklahoma prior to the investigation. The organization was held accountable for a total of 42 pounds of crystal meth, estimated to have a street value of over $3.8 million, and 5.5 pounds of cocaine, estimated to have a street value of over $515,000. IRS investigators documented Western Union wire transfers totaling over $244,000 in drug proceeds between Oklahoma City, California, and Florida. Crook from Tortilla Flats pleaded guilty to the federal drug trafficking conspiracy case. Going back to Chucky, Crook claimed that he had tried to stop Chucky from being involved in the incident, but failed. Crook did not trust Boxer and he felt that something was wrong. At 19 years old, little Chucky was killed in the house of the local drug dealer who they were trying to collect a debt from. The Oklahoma City drug dealer was dead also, but rumors began that Crook and Chucky's crime partner, Clumsy, had betrayed and killed their own homeboy. After Chucky's funeral in Palmdale, California, Crook was arrested for parole violation. He was very remorseful. Back to the drug trafficking conspiracy case. Despite the fact Crook agreed to cooperate with the U.S. Attorney's Office in Oklahoma City and testify or snitch against the Mexican Mafia in the Tortilla Flats gang he loved so much. In 2005, Crook was sentenced to 20 years in federal prison. But that's not the end of the tale. When he was in federal prison, Crook had gone from the Copton Vario Tortilla Flats gang member known as Crook to identify himself as a transgender woman. What caused Crook to turn into a transgender woman? That's for you to decide. Why do you think the federal prison now has Crook labeled as a transgender white female? In federal prison, a convict has to serve at least 85% of their prison sentence before they can be eligible for early release. On November 21st, 2023, Rafael Crook, Loera Gamboa, the former Tortilla Flats gang member, now transgender woman, was released from federal prison and is now free again. It's not clear what Crook is doing nowadays since he got released from prison more than a few months ago and is living life as a transgender woman and snitch.